an update on where we're at. I've redone this a couple of times. Last time I tested it, it, it didn't pass. So I took the uh, cord off the back and then tightened it up another full turn, put the card on. And remember when we first tested it, we sprayed around this right here where there are epoxy seals for these wires. And it did not fail at that. It failed when we went down here. So now we got this where it doesn't fail down there. When I was on the phone with the technician, he said, well, let's try spraying up here. Well, guess what? This is now tight enough that this is now leaking. So he suggested sending a whole new cable to replace all this and all the wiring. That's an awful lot of work and uh, shouldn't have to do that. So what I'm going to do, well, I'm, he's going to send it. What I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to take around these wires right here. I'm going to put a little little tape around here and make a little dam and I'm going to epoxy seal around here not down any place else just around here and run a test again and see if that works now once I put the epoxy on I put it on when it's under pressure and then it will um, suck it in there a little bit and if that seals up and fix it then I know the problem was here if that doesn't fix it then I know the problem is down here so I'm kind of doing a little troubleshooting figure out where they're at uh, I was on the phone quite a while with him, and he got a big earful, he, although the technician, his job isn't to solve it or anything. It just, uh, their solution is not re-engineer it so it doesn't fail, but to just have a customer do all this work. And when I told him where am I going to send my bill for my uh, my technician work, he just laughed. Well, after I bought the third time, I said, this is not a joke. I uh, quit laughing. Uh, because, you know, I'm serious, you know, I am an electrical engineer and I do have a business. This is kind of stuff I do as well as create videos and everything else. So, uh, I would be charging, sending them a bill for it. Will they pay it or not? I don't know, but I'm going to send them a bill. If I have to go through all this work, of replacing these wires, going down over here, that is something you should not have to do. They need to be engineered correctly. And I told him, tell the engineering manager, he needs to redesign this so it doesn't fail. And, uh, I, I don't know if you did or not, but uh, uh, I also asked him, where is it manufactured? And he didn't know. So I said, that's kind of important. Where is it made? Is it made here in the States? Uh, which I doubt. Um, but it's probably made over overseas someplace. And lots of times the quality control is not there. But if the design is bad, it doesn't matter how good your quality is. When you build it, the design is bad. Now remember, when I first went to take this off the first time, this was not in very tight. Uh, I might have been able to just take and put two or three more turns on it because it was really loose. So when I put it on the first time, I put it on an extra turn over that, and then I had it still leaks. So I took it off, put more tape on it, turned it even tighter, and then the third time I put on a lot of tape, uh, kind of like what they originally had, you know, probably about 12 wraps, and then I, I had to use a wrench to turn it in because it was pretty tight starting, and I got as tight as it was, and I turned another turn, and then turn another turn, and that's when it failed, and I turned it on the third turn after it got snug. So I could probably turn it another another full turn, but I'm afraid of stripping out the threads in here, and then in which case, then there's a big problem. But it doesn't appear to be leaking here. I may go ahead and put a little epoxy around here anyway, uh, just to make sure it, it seals up. Uh, put it around here, but I'm going to do that. That's the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to do this after our our failed attempt again. It did get down to about 237 millitors, so it is getting a lot better, but we still have a leak right here, and that's probably what's causing that number nine vacuum air. So we're gonna go in and fix this, and uh, wait wait a little bit here. I'll, I'll come back and I'll show what I'm doing on that. We just powered it on, and we're gonna go in and turn the vacuum pump on. I have the valve closed so we're going to turn the pump on and so last time we did this it took about 15 minutes to get down below 500 millitors so it doesn't take long to do that i'm going to go in and i can hear the pump started up you know it's not really loud it is a little bit louder than a refrigerator but i don't want one comment i read it's not any louder than a refrigerator well it is a little bit louder but it's still um, not obnoxious when the compression and everything is running, you know, it's, it's fairly noisy, as you probably heard on some of the videos when it's running. But it's still, it's not bad. It's not anything you're going to need earplugs for or nothing. But we'll wait for this to get down 
uh, to uh, a very fairly low temperature or below 300 and then I'll try that epoxy on the wires itself and we'll come back uh, once I get that down to that pressure well that last test batch did not work it ran about eight hours and it aired out again so I took all the stuff out of the freezer uh, the freeze dryer and put it in the freezer in the refrigerator I have to keep it frozen and now we're going to go in and do some a little bit more epoxy work on it so what we're going to do is we're going to epoxy a whole bunch more crap so let me turn this camera around and here is the last epoxy fix we did i'm thinking we might want to go ahead and do around the sensor uh, just because uh, it could be leaking there and then we can also epoxy around here because this is all sealed up nice around here. Now what I'll do is I'll take and put the tape around here and then build a dam up that comes up around this as well. So that's all completely epoxied in. And then uh, we'll also do some around where this is at. And then it, with that all epoxied under pressure, then uh, there can't be a leak there because we've got it permanently sealed up. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put some tape around here like we did before and start building up a little dam in here and then fill this in. And then we'll get this done. And then I kind of hate to do this one just yet, but that could be the problem too as well. Now it didn't leak in our test. Nothing leaked. But it seems like it runs for about eight hours or so and then something comes loose. So it could be that because this also gets cold. Um... It could be the fact that it's now loosening up because this is colder than this and we have a little bit different temperatures. So, um, you know, when you heat things up, they expand and contract. So that's what we're going to try and do next. So that's our next step. I'm going to epoxy in around here. Now, if I have to replace this, they do. They are sending a new cable, but I if we get this sealed around here then it can't be that leaking in there because they wanted us to just put some new seal around here and obviously it was leaking from here because it was able to get a whole lot better pressure uh, so now i'll seal this and then we can run some more tests